it guys, it's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to the channel where I'm going to be actually discussing something that might be of use to you guys. Now whether you are just starting out the YouTube game, whether you've been at it for 10 years, 5 years, 2 and a half years, you know, 666 years, Lucifer's YouTube game is strong, okay? It was actually something that I've been wanting to do for a while, just never got around to doing it because I wasn't sure how you guys would, you know, if you guys would like the video or whatever. But I thought today was the day. Second video of the day hype, okay? I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my thumbnails. Over here, we have my main screen. My home screen, if you will. Yes, New York, how you doing, honey? And we have all of my elements that are gonna go into the thumbnail where we're going to do today. The thumbnail that we are going to be making today is the first thumbnail in the Ori and the Will of Wisp series, considering the fact that I really want to make a lot of these thumbnails stand out, and I just thought I'd do it today as an example, and plus I like getting a lot of my thumbnails done earlier rather than later, as you guys know. Now the website that I'm using today is called PicMonkey. I am not sponsored. I don't know if I'll ever be sponsored, but I'm not sponsored by PicMonkey. I just really love their website. It's for free unless you do other things and you have to like upgrade and all that fun stuff. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, there's like a log of all of the, <laughs> all of the thumbnails I've been doing, but we're going to edit a new image and we're going to go straight to computer. And in here, we're going to choose the first element where it's just this kind of like a blue smoky-esque background vibe we got going on. So um, yeah, since Ori and the Blind Forest had one of the thumbnails where Ori, I don't know if you guys saw it, I'll pop it up over here somewhere, where it's uh, Ori is like on my shoulder. We're going to do an upgraded version of that, a glow up if you will. Increase the size of that a little bit and we're going to put the first graphic in here. Now it takes a while, I'm not going to lie, it takes a while to be able to get things adjusted to the point of where you can feel comfortable doing thumbnails and feeling proficient in it. It took me like a little over three years, as long as I've been doing my YouTube channel, to do the graphic work that I do today. Head over to graphics over here and then we're going to click on computer where we can insert different images and different segments and all that fun stuff. So what we're going to click on is this. This is one of the images that I took and we are going to erase the background. Now this image over here, the blue one, isn't as big as I would like it. So we're going to find a similar blue image that is a little bit bigger and a lot more high resolution because that just looks, I, anytime that you zoom in in PicMonkey, it takes a little bit of the resolution away. So we're gonna look up um, blue smoke background. Or we can actually look up blue flame. Looks like I'm in a 90s music video. Oh, I like this. This looks always like, what about this one? <gasps> oh, I like that. Wait, what about this one? Oh no, that's just the wrong resolution. Okay, wait, let's, let's go back over here. I like this. Okay, so let's save this one. Um, yeah, let's save that one. Okay, that's doable. Uh, we can increase the color in the background. And see, this is just all the process of what it, you know, uh, what it takes for whatever I do by thumbnails. I don't know about other people, how long it takes them to do their thumbnails, but we're going to amp up some of the blue tones. I know I want to amp up the brightness just a tad, uh, lower the highlights. Yeah, so we can really see a lot of that blue color pop through. Uh, da, 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 exposure, background color, ah, here it is. And you don't want it to be too saturated. If it's too saturated, then it kind of distracts away from everything that you're originally doing. So, um, and graphic design, whenever it comes to this kind of stuff, whenever you're overlaying different graphics and making sure that they all combine cohesively with one another, uh, it takes a lot of just time and a lot of patience to do it. A lot of, just a lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest thing I can say. So we're going to go over to effects and we're going to see the color amp if that does. No, it really didn't do much of it. Not, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I like that. Okay, I feel like that's good. I want to amp up the blue a little bit more. Is that going to work? <laughs> that just turned it pink. No, we don't want that. We don't need her. Okay, so we're going to go over to graphics and we are going to uh, insert that picture of me and we're going to clean off all of the negative areas. And by negative areas, I mean all the background that's not the prominent uh, thing in the picture. That's something in art, whatever you are focusing on negative space, you're focusing on everything in the backdrop. So we're going to get rid of said negative space 
just clean her up because we don't need this negative energy in our lives. We just have to minimize the cleaner upper a little bit. Get that situation. It takes time. Like, I don't use Photoshop. I don't use any of those fancy schmancy um, editing things because, number one, it costs too much. <laughs> and number two, um, I've been using this for years and I enjoy using PicMonkey a lot. You know, again, I, I would love it if they would sponsor me because I use their product just so much. You just sit here and edit pictures all day and thumbnails all day because I just, I absolutely love the editing process for thumbnails. I think it's really, really fun. It's really relaxing too for me. I don't think it would be relaxing for a lot of people considering the fact that this takes a lot of time depending on the graphic design and depending on the thumbnail you're doing. If you're just doing a thumbnail which, uh, where it's just a one and go and you have some overlaid uh, text on there, then it's really not that big of a deal. But if you're doing stuff to where you're like this and you have to erase and you have to go back and you have to check the perspective and you have to do all that fun stuff, um, it takes me usually about half an hour at the most to edit a thumbnail and even then I'm still going back and forth and really finalizing things. And then if I need to, <laughs> that looks weird. If I need to go back and add something or redo something, then I absolutely will. But uh, yeah, see, so we just go over here and we just pinpoint and we fine tune and erase little things that we couldn't get before. See, there you go. That's exactly, oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to like randomly erase my arm. Sorry about that other me. I'm so sorry. There you go. I'll give you, there is your arm back. I give it back to you. Okay, perfect. So, um, that's going to stay like that because I'm just in the center right now. And next up, we're going to put the logo that is for Ori and the Will of Wisps. Go over to our elements over here. And we are going to minimize this just a little bit. I think that's okay. No? Okay. There we go. Oh, it's coming together. I'm loving it. So we go back to here and we get that little, little orb thing, that little, little thing called scene. And we go back to our eraser and we make a big eraser, as big as my future. And we erase all that negative space, honey. That way there's only a little orb left of light that consumes us and makes us one with the universe. And it kind of looks like the black hole that Fortnite did in order to get people to pay attention to them go there we go okay so now we just clean up that little ball of blue light actually i need to go in a little bit further please i wish they had a transparent uh image of the ball of scene because that would really have been a lot more helpful but that's okay you just deal with what you're given i, I looked up light images for the light that follows ori around so I could hold it. That's why I have my hands out out there. I'm not just, you know, holding my hands out for food. Um, <laughs> um, but I wish there were like a feathering tool on Pick Monkey because that would help me out a lot right now. Okay, so we have, oh wait, maybe curves might help. Or override. Maybe that might, no, I don't want that. Uh, presets, low contrast. Oh, oh, that is cool. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, so I can make it like, Oh, oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Okay, all right, so we're going to take that. I just found something new that I like. Okay, all right, we're going to do that. And we're going to... How can I fade it out a little bit? Um, Inner shadow, drop shadow. There we go. Oh, okay, I like that. And we're going to give it a little bit of a, of a light there. Yes, honey. Um, I'm my own best friend, okay? I'm my own cheerleader. That's what you got to be for yourselves, too. Whenever you're doing a project, it's so easy to get lost and be like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like that. Shut up. Be your own best friend. Be your own cheerleader. That's when you get shit done. Because I don't like those harsh edges. And eh, I erase too much. That way it's not so harsh on the other blue tones. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to bring some back. Don't you worry, kids. I'm going to bring some back because I didn't like that harsh blue tone. You need to really, like I said, it takes a lot of patience to be able to do this the right way. Maybe I can put them on his shoulder or something like that. <gasps> oh, this is going to be so cute. Ah, thank you. Okay, hold on a second. <gasps> oh my God, Ori, you looking good. Did you lose weight, honey? Oh my. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I'm happy with this. So what we're gonna do is 
Um, also, my eyeshadow is on point right now. Yes, honey. Okay, um, <laughs> we are going to take away some more of the negative space. Crop a little bit more of that. be a little, a little longer. And that, you guys, is how I make one of my thumbnails. It's an arduous process at times. <laughs> and while recording, I can actually time myself to see how long it actually takes. And with little cuts here and there that I make in the video and post-production, it takes roughly about 20 minutes for me to do an entire thumbnail like this. And I'm still like going back and forth because I don't know if I want to erase the little one over here since we already have a scene over here. Hold on a second. Let me try to see how it looks if I erase this little guy. See what happens. Sorry, we're gonna erase that. Yeah, yeah, that could work. That could work. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back at some point, put it back. I don't know, but um, I'm not happy with that blue over there. That dark toned blue, it does not look good. And you know what I'm actually going to do with this right now? I'm going to go back over to my graphics and I'm going to layer the same image over top of it because I want it to be able to have more of a I don't know a thickness to it like a, like a presence to it because right now it just looks very kind of dull to an extent I don't know yeah that way it looks a little more intense just a little more intense it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be yours. It's going to be something that you can showcase to everybody and be like, hey, this is something that I did. You know, I worked hard on it. I did, um, I did work on it and it's mine. I think we might have a winner over here. So yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to go to our screenshot and we are going to save the screenshot. By the way, I use a screenshot from the Windows apps. If anybody is wanting like a good screenshot app or anything like that, just use one that you have in Windows. And there it is, you guys. That is the finished product of the thumbnail for Ori and the Will of Wisps part one. But you guys, that's how I do my thumbnails. That's actually pretty average day on how I do my thumbnails. It usually takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to do each one. And even before that, I'm prepping to do them, getting different elements together like you guys saw, taking screenshots of myself to insert into different like ways and positions and all that kind of stuff for different thumbnails. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do another video on how I make more of my thumbnails, let me know down in the comments below and I'd love to do something like that. But if you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. It lets me know you like my face and what I do most importantly. And I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and double uploads on Friday. Stay casual and nerdy, you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. I can be gone about the lean and beat bang with dirty tongue and thought of